welcome back to Humble Homemaking. If you are new here, I talk about all things homemaking, parenting, faith, and femininity. Today's video is going to be part two of how I knew my husband was the one. If you haven't watched the first one yet, I will link it down below. I'm just giving traits that I really admire about him and why I admire the traits and why I believe that these traits were the reasons why I knew he was the one. And I looked at the list and I don't think I'm going to cry for this video. I wasn't expecting to last time. It's just, I'm a woman, I'm emotional. The first one on this list is, he brings value into my life by being so selfless and being so giving and taking care of us and not making it feel like it's a burden. And he does that with everybody around him. He, he brings so much value to the, those closest to us. He's always willing to help out others and, he's nev and he never expects anything in return. I always catch him doing good deeds for people. And these are all just little gestures that are kind of just like common sense that everybody should be kind to one another and do. But for example, the other day he was outside shoveling the snow and he noticed that the neighbor was having trouble walking from his mailbox to his house because our mailboxes are across the road from our house so he helped the neighbor walk back across the road and it's an elderly man and I just thought that was really nice and when he helps me out with something he's not like well you know I did this for you now you have to do that for me like he just ex he just does nice things for me you know he just he will help me out with cleaning sometimes and he never expects anything in return. He doesn't expect me to help him out with his list of things he needs to do. Although I do help him with those things, he never expects it. He's never like, well, I helped you clean the kitchen the other night and I helped you cook dinner the other night. Can you, you need to help me do this. So being selfless without the expectation that somebody needs to give something back is something that I value. I think it's so beautiful every time I see him doing good deeds for people and helping people out and giving people things. He is very logical and he puts facts before feelings when it comes to topics and not just politically, just anything in general. He will put facts before his feelings. He doesn't go out of his way to hurt people's feelings or start arguments or start fights with people, but he's always willing to state the facts rather than letting his feelings get involved with things. And now, he does have that balance of knowing that there are certain topics in the world and in life that require us to see things from a from an emotional point of view. And if he does get into an argument with somebody or a debate that turned out that started out level and got a little heated because somebody took something personally, then he is not afraid to put an end to it. He thinks before he speaks and he listens to understand, not to respond. And this is something that he taught me to do. He's, he, he would say to me, why do you, you don't have to jump to conclusions, just sit there and think for a moment. And he explained it to me one day that if you just, if somebody's asking you a question, if you just sit there and think for a few seconds before answering, you're going to say less hurtful things, you're going to say more intelligent things, you're going to be able to get your point across to the other person a lot easier. So this is something that he taught me and I really admire this trait in him because it's so nice to watch him have a conversation with somebody and he pauses for a second before answering them. And it's not like an awkward pause, you know, it's not like 10 seconds of Okay, yeah, it's more like Well, you see, like he just takes, he just needs a couple of seconds to think before speaking and in doing that he is able to articulate the way he says things to people so that even the most layman person can understand something that he is trying to explain to them. He understands that words are powerful therefore he chooses his words wisely. He doesn't just blurt out words, he doesn't just say things to say things, he like I said in the previous one, he thinks before he speaks. And although he does not go out of his way to hurt people's feelings, he will say things that sometimes the truth is the truth and if you don't like it, fix it. He isn't one to raise his voice when he needs to be heard. Even in some of the most heated arguments between he and I, he never raises his voice. And that's a trait that is nice because who likes to be screamed at? Nobody likes to be screamed at. I don't like to be screamed at. He doesn't like to be screamed at. You probably don't like to be screamed at. Nobody really likes to be screamed at. We don't like to be screamed at when we're having arguments or conversations with people. So because he doesn't raise his voice in even the most heated debates and heated topics, 
That's a trait that I admire. He is extremely intelligent and knows the power of knowledge. He is actually one of the biggest reasons why I'm always willing to learn something new. He keeps me up on that. He holds me accountable to learn new things and to research things. If I have a question about something, he goes, I don't know, research it. I don't know, look it up. Or we'll look it up together and we'll learn about it together. He'll read something from one link and I'll read something from another link. He's the one that told me to, taught me to truly research beyond the first page of Google and to learn things that aren't just on the first answer of what Google wants you to know because chances are the first option that Google wants you to read or watch or learn about is probably a bunch of nonsense. He is a fountain of knowledge and knowing things and facts and things about history. He's always learning about social and economical issues, geopolitical issues, just a random fact about some, some random silly things. He's always, always learning something and he always comes home from work to tell me something that he learned in his downtime at work. So he uses his downtime wisely to be able to research things be able to become knowledgeable in things and it's just a really neat thing because he comes home and he has conversations with me about the things he's learned or the things he's read today and that creates conversation and in doing that he teaches me things at the same time so that is something that I really value because I value knowledge and I value that he's not so obsessed with things that don't matter such as sports and other things and and he might not be able to give you the play-by-play -play of the last football game or the whatever because he's not into sports but he can tell you every little detail about whatever historical event you want to bring up knowledge and the thirst for knowledge was a huge check yes on my this man I'm going to marry list. <laughs> he's not one-sided and that's another thing I really like about him. So when he's researching something, he always looks to multiple perspectives. He's not just looking on one side of things. He's looking to see what the what the enemy, what the opposer is is talking about, what they're what they are saying. He can build up statistics and facts against what their points are. And he is a really good debater. And because of that, he really taught me to do the same thing, to not just look at things so one-sided, to not just look at things so from one point of view, to really read and understand why other sides and other groups of people think certain ways and see things certain ways and want certain things. He is very likable and can hold a conversation with pretty much anybody. He's excellent at storytelling and entertaining small and large crowds. He is able to tell a life story and explain it with visualizations and examples and make people really feel like they're in the moment when he's telling a story. And also just the fact that he can have conversations with people. The conversation is a huge strong point. His woman being able to stand next to him, walk into a room with him and know that he is able to have a conversation with anybody and not make it feel awkward and exude that confidence in his conversations is just a wonderful thing to watch. And another thing is that when we are having conversation with people, he asks my opinion of things he'll say well you know Chelsea had this happen to her and so he values my opinion he is very humble so I can sit here and I can brag about everything he does all of his accomplishments and he will be the first one to tell me and tell you that he has made a lot of mistakes and he has gone through a lot to be able to get to the point that he is at. He never lets any of his successes go to his head, he doesn't need to show his face to take credit for his work. He just, he takes credit for his work but he doesn't have to like put himself in the spotlight. He isn't afraid to laugh at himself and make fun of himself and I don't mean in a self-deprecating way. I mean in a you can't hurt my feelings over something that I can laugh about type of way. You can say all the mean things you want to him and bring up certain things. His feelings aren't easily hurt by silly little things like that. And that is something that I admire in him because if you can't laugh at yourself and you can't joke around about certain things that you do or have done, then you're going to get your feelings hurt pretty easily in this world because this world is pretty cruel and people aren't very nice all the time. I hope you enjoyed this part too. If you did like this video, please hit the thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe and share. This channel is growing. It's not growing super fast, but it is growing and I just feel really happy about that. And although I am not in the thousands, if you think about it, 
my number of subscribers. I can't fit into this little living room of mine. So in my eyes, that, that is a lot of subscribers and I am grateful for every single one of you. I hope you have a beautiful day. I will see you next time. Bye. -bye.